Good morning, aviators. <laughs> hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing amazing as always and thank you so much for watching this video. And today I got Top Gun Maverick uh, review for y'all and I'm just super excited to talk about this movie because it's insane. Now, I just want to start this video off by saying that I was never a big fan of uh, the original Top Gun. Like, I remember seeing it when I was like uh, 10 years old or something like that, but I was never a big fan. So, uh, walking into this, uh, you know, walking into the theater, I was like, I was a bit skeptical, uh, to be completely honest. I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna like it, you know, I don't know if it's gonna be good, but oh god. God, when I walked out of the theater, I was like, yes, this is fucking good. Like, this is extremely good. This is peak Tom Cruise. This is a uh, peak blockbuster cinema. Oh my God. And I want to start off um, uh, by saying that this was directed by Joseph Kosinski and it was written by Christopher McGuire and uh, stars Tom Cruise as uh, Maverick Mitchell, Jennifer Connelly as Penny, Miles Teller as Rooster, Monica, uh, Monica Barbaro as Phoenix, Val Kilmer is in this movie, so it's not a spoiler that he's actually in this movie, uh, playing Iceman. Um, and many others. Obviously, John Hamm, you get Ed Harris in this movie, and I just have to say that everybody does such a good job in this movie. Everybody just gives it really 100%, and it shows, you know, the acting in this from everyone in this movie is amazing, but I just want to point out how Tom Cruise, you know, he's pushing 60, he's gonna be 60 this year, right? But he's amazing in this. I was blown away by, you know, I almost like forgot that he's uh, a really good actor, actually, and in this movie it shows. Not even him. You think up there you're dead. Believe me. You know, he's emotional, he's sad, he's happy. You can just, oh my god, you can feel the emotions, and he's a really good actor, and it, and it shows here. It shows here. Also, Miles Teller is stellar in this movie. He's amazing. Uh, as uh, Rooster and oh my gosh, the, the the character dynamic between him and Tom Cruise is absolutely amazing. Also, I was just so happy to see Val Kilmer. Um, you know, he was battling cancer for like five or six years, and so seeing him in this movie, it was just so uh, it was such a heartwarming moment to be honest. And again, everybody, Jennifer Connelly, like I was just so happy to see Jennifer Connelly in a movie again. Uh, you know, that was awesome, so everybody here just did a fantastic job, uh, Monica Barbaro was so amazing in this movie, um, you know, she's like very, very confident, young uh, pilot, she was really good, everybody, John Hamm, like, everybody did such a good job in this movie, I just gotta say it, you know, and that's obviously not just because of their acting talent, uh, but it's also because of the script, the script is really good. So that was that, uh, now let's get into the meat and potatoes uh, of this movie, which are the amazing, uh, amazing aerial, uh, aerial scenes, you know. With all due respect, sir, I'm not a teacher. But like, how was this done? Like, I don't know, like, like I couldn't understand. And obviously what they did is that they actually I believe that they mounted like the IMAX cameras into into the jets and then uh, the cast was just flying with the jets and they combined this footage with some CGI and it works so well. It looks it looks amazing. I have never seen something like this in a blockbuster before. This is groundbreaking when it comes to blockbusters. It's wow, it's really good. It's wow, it's amazing and those sequences when they are up in the air I believe that they were, uh, they were, you know, shot with IMAX cameras, so it's best to see this uh, in IMAX, and I know that IMAX isn't everywhere, so I would at least recommend uh, seeing this movie in, like, the biggest uh, theater possible, where they have the biggest screens, you know, because, wow, this is fantastic, but the aerial combat scenes are just so good. In three, two, one... 
uh, they, they are doing these like sort of acrobatic tricks and it looks fantastic. I was blown away by it. I was just grabbing my seat and I was like, oh my god, this is so good. I have never seen anything like this before. I was blown away by it. It was fantastic. I was, I don't know what to say. Also, uh, the nostalgia factor, obviously. I wasn't feeling nostalgic while watching it because, you know, I was never a big fan of the first one. I thought it was a good movie, but I ne was never a, a big fan of that first movie. But, you know, when they played Danger Zone in this movie, I was just, I was like, okay, okay, now I'm feeling a bit nostalgic. Uh, even though, I, I, you know, even though I obviously wasn't there to see it in when it first came out in theaters. And the third act. I want to talk about the third act. The third act of this movie, it turns into this almost like a heist movie. And it's, it's wow. It's, it's phenomenal stuff. When you combine those amazing like aerial uh, combat scenes with, you know, you combine the danger, you know, with, with like, you know, and the, the characters that are in those jets. And like, you're just like, oh my gosh, please survive. I, I don't want to say too much, but the third act is just fantastic stuff and I, I was I constantly was just like grabbing my seat and I was like please no <laughs> what do you want me to say it's fantastic the third act is really damn good so in conclusion would I recommend you guys uh, would I recommend this movie yes 100% totally go see it this is phenomenal stuff. Tom Cruise is amazing in the in here, like everybody, and uh, the, the the aerial scenes, the combat scenes. Oh my god, that's fantastic! I have never seen anything like this in a movie. I swear, you know, everybody did such an amazing job on this movie. I was blown away by this movie. I genuinely recommend it to everyone. Go see it uh, on the biggest screen uh, that you can. That's all for today, guys. Uh, <laughs> that's all for today. Uh, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Take care, as always, and bye.